Hey everybody, welcome back to Bottom Shelf Bar, where we buy alcohol off the bottom shelf of our local liquor store and tell you whether or not you should drink it. I'm joined again by my good friend Connor, who's going to tell us what we're drinking tonight. Tonight we're going to be trying this Tavarski Vodka, which I purchased off the bottom shelf of my favorite liquor store for $6.49 for this fifth. <laughs> that is not enough money to pay for alcohol. <laughs> it is a terrifyingly low price to pay for this much alcohol. Uh, you are not probably going to be able to see this, but the bottle is so cheap that there's like imperfections, imperfections in, the glass. in the glass. It's not cracked, we don't think. It's a seam, it looks but like. there is a seam in the glass, and it... I don't... Have, we haven't smelled it yet, either. No, but I don't want to. All signs point to us having a bad time. Let's smell it. Yeah, it doesn't smell as bad as I was expecting. Uh, that's all I was going to say. That's actually better than I was expecting. We have our shots poured in measuring cups again. I remember to buy shot glasses for this time, but... I thought it was so funny that we took shots out of measuring cups last time that we're doing it again. So let's have shots. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. <coughs> oh God. <coughs> oh, honestly, it's not the worst shot I've ever taken by a long shot. Uh, episode four, the Montezuma oh. tequila shot was way worse than this. I think I'd rather do the Montezuma. <laughs> that that had a like strongly terrible flavor. Honestly, to me, this doesn't have that much of a flavor of its own. It's not completely neutral, like it's not just like mm -mm. alcoholic water, but it's it could definitely taste a lot stronger. While that is true, you can taste the that the alcohol is not high quality alcohol. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, it was not the smoothest shot I've ever taken. I, my my esophagus rejected it a little bit at first. <laughs> yep, yep. All right. Well, we're gonna do an activity for you. Yes, it's game time. Cut. <laughs> All right, I forgot to set up the game, so we had to cut for a second there. But we're bringing back the cracker on the face game, whatever you want to call it. Uh, because it was so much fun the first time we did it. So, we just like it. Yeah, it's just a fun game. So we have two saltines. Uh, the vodka is already starting to hurt my stomach a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't feel good <laughs> down there. Which is actually not something I've experienced with any of the other uh, shots so far. Yeah, they've never immediately made me feel a little not so good. But <laughs> we'll see where the rest of the night goes. Uh, let's get these crackers in our mouths, why don't we? You ready? Yes. Yeah, three, two, one, cracker. <laughs> We're already <laughs> off to a flying start. Straight off the floor. I don't know if it's even worth it for me to try again. It was not. Ha ha! I'm just going to eat this cracker. Uh, I'm going to sweep the floor and we'll be back in just a second with a screwdriver. This is a screwdriver. It's vodka and orange juice. I don't know why they call it that, but this is a drink I'm very familiar with. They call it that because it gets the job done. It's not terrible on the first sip, but as soon as that vodka flavor is allowed to kind of permeate your taste buds a little bit, it gets worse. The drink goes in waves. It's like you can feel the orange juice going back across your tongue, and then after it, the vodka does. <laughs> That is actually, that's a pretty good, pretty good description. Um, I'm not enjoying this screwdriver very much. Yeah. It does take off the sweetness from the juice, which is always a thing liquor does, but almost more effectively than most. So if you like that. It's not terrible. It, it's not completely ruining it, but it could definitely be a lot better. Yeah, part of it is that orange juice masks vodka so well, but... Yeah. orange juice is definitely very effective at suppressing the bad <laughs> here. Yeah, overall I would say that screwdriver is not too bad. It was, not good. It was okay. Diluting the vodka quite a bit did help. I think with that, it's time for saltines. That it is.
Give me that. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Put that in. All right. We're back with more saltines. We're going to get them in our mouths. Three, two, one. Cracker. Man, maybe I'll get it one of these times. Yeah. <laughs> it bounced off both of our legs on the way to the ground, so I think it's sanitized. Oh, God. I'm doing so much worse all of a sudden. I'm doing much better. I don't know. Come here. Oh! <laughs> oh no! I was so close! <laughs> it, was, it was on the edge of my mouth for like 15 seconds. I looked over and you had like caught it in your <laughs> lips as I was eating mine. <laughs> I'm gonna finish the saltine and we're gonna be back in just a bit with one of my favorite vodka drinks. It's called the Lemon Drop. And hopefully it will be incredible, but I have some doubts. I sure am good with my face. On that note. <laughs> All right, this is a lemon drop. <laughs> Sorry. I just thought it would be how funny it'd be if we took a shot one time and we took a shot and just went. Bleh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a lemon drop. This is one of my favorite drinks. It is two parts vodka, one part simple syrup, and one part lemon juice. Lemon juice. Obviously, <laughs> that's what makes it lemon drop. Uh, here it is. Let's try it. I'm hoping that the uh, cheap vodka doesn't ruin it. It sure does ruin it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that's... Uh... That tastes like the worst lemonade I've ever had. Yeah, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty apt description. I mean, that's kind of what the lemon drop is supposed to take, taste like, is lemonade. It's real good if you also add some seltzer. I'm sure that makes it a different drink um, with a probably different name. But this is not great. I took an, ish, an initial sip and I was like, this is a lemon drop. And immediately the vodka flavor came out and it said, no, please reconsider. Yeah, the flavor of the vodka in this is pretty overpowering. It makes, it's on, honestly, I'm having a worse time than I had with the shot. That's probably just because you like the lemon drop so much. That could be, it's tormenting me. Yeah, it's, it, it tastes like, and I said this, I've said this before, it just tastes like sweet, bad alcohol. It's really unpleasant. It's not the worst tasting thing ever, but it, it is definitely very unpleasant to drink. Well, and this is a cocktail. You drink this for fun. You would never drink that cocktail for fun. You would buy a different cocktail if you were served that. <laughs> yeah, you would. If you were served this in a bar, you would leave. <laughs> you would round up your friends and you would go somewhere else. So on that note, I think it's time to cleanse our palates with, with some a saltines. great value saltine. <laughs> All right, we have great value saltines. It's time to put them on our faces. Three, two, one, saltine. I guess we're going this way this time. <laughs> or not. Let's see if I can do it better. Oh my god. It, my skill has evaporated. I, we were better at this the last time we played this game, I think. I think this game gives you beginner's luck. Okay. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Oh no, I moved too quick. It's, I think, stuck on my, my hubris <laughs> has ruined me. It's stuck on my nose. Oh my god. Uh, How are we no. doing so much worse? <laughs> yeah, this this can't be one long take of us this playing with crackers. no longer entertaining. <laughs> the, oh, some people's might be very entertaining. Uh, 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 I got it. Oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> one cut later, we won't tell you how long that took us. Connor gets that victory, I and I'm point. okay with that as long as we're done. Next up, the Moscow Mule. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, this is a Moscow Mule. It's made with one part lime juice to two parts vodka to five parts ginger beer. It, really just however much ginger beer you want. Uh, we are dumb and tonight we are unsupervised. <laughs> so we put the cap for the ginger beer on the vodka. Uh, Here's the ginger beer that we're using. It's Fever Tree. It's quite good. 
Fever it Tree has, is a good a good mixing. It drink. has the cap from the vodka on it now <laughs> because that's we're unsupervised. Anything can happen. So let's taste this Moscow Mule and find out if this vodka has managed to ruin yet another of our favorite drinks. I love mules, and I'm worried about this. All right. Hey, cheers. I think it's okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. Something that I think we're finding a lot with these uh, more diluted drinks is that you can get away with using cheap liquor in them. But you'll be a lot better off if you use better liquor. The <clears throat> the feeling of bad alcohol is still there, but what's great about a Moscow Mule is all you really taste is ginger and lime because the, they're so strong, especially the ginger. Yeah. Um, which I love. I like a spicy. I love a spicy ginger beer. Um, it covers it up really nicely. Uh, however, in the same vein, because this is a vodka drink. If you, you you only drink a ginger uh, a Moscow Mule to drink alcohol, so it almost doesn't even matter whether or not it's good vodka. Uh, I think this ginger beer is carrying it. How much did this cost? Four bucks. This costs scaling up to this is five hundred mils. Scaling this up to Six. this <laughs> costs the ginger beer might actually cost more per liter let's say, than the vodka does. Uh, actually, after, like, tax or whatever, because I didn't pay four bucks even, after tax or whatever, that's probably true. I think that is probably more expensive per, like, ounce than the vodka. Uh, which, you know, do, do with that information what you will. What I'm mostly tasting in this mule is the ginger beer. The ginger beer, this is great ginger beer, and it's delicious. The, the problem is with this mule is that the... That twinge of bad alcohol is still there. Like, the flavor isn't, but the, you can tell that there's, it's bad alcohol. Oh, yeah. I just got a little aftertaste on my last sip there. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely tell that this is not the vodka that you would prefer to use for a Moscow Mule. It works okay, just but. because the ginger flavor is so potent compared to what, you know, what little flavor this vodka has. But, so, I mean, if you want a really cheap vodka and you don't care what it tastes like, uh, that'll do okay in a Moscow Mule. There's a lot of better options. Yeah. It really, it works as a vodka. Like I said at the beginning, it's not a super strong flavor, but it's, I think we have found strong enough that you notice it if you're looking for it. Yeah, I'd say that is definitely true. I mean... You could just drink it with a bunch of Sprite. That'd be fine. At six fifty, that's an absolute bargain, even oh, compared yeah. to most of the cheap liquors we drink. Um, I would still only rate this at like a two, because normally with vodka, I can. I mean, normally with vodka, you can drink a pretty fair amount of it. Yeah, I I think a two <sighs> is two out of five is pretty fair for this. I'm two, maybe one point five, somewhere in between those two ratings, because it is. I mean, it's clearly you are getting what you paid for, but you're paying so little to get this, and it's <laughs> so close to being, like, pretty passable in a lot of things that, like, this is okay. And I think I've said in a previous episode that if you want to cheap out anywhere, vodka is probably the place to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And as long as you water this down with, like, a lot of other stuff or, like, a really strong flavor like this ginger beer... You're going to be able to get away with using this vodka. Any parting thoughts? We should eat some crackers. Let's have some saltines. <laughs> All right, we got more saltines. They're on our faces. Let's see what happens after four vodka drinks. Three, two, one, saltine. It's kind of stuck. Ah, so close. <laughs> So close to greatness. So close, and yet so far. Ah. Uh, oh no. What? How did it even get there? One of my friends told me we should take a shot if we fail the, the competition. We would die. <laughs> we would get alcohol poisoning so fast. I'm so close. I got it. Oh. <laughs> ah. I got a saltine in my eyebrow. 
maybe a little bit in my eye. Um, Tavarsky Vodka, about a two out of five overall. If you're just gonna dilute it a whole bunch, if you're gonna make like jungle juice or a really diluted Moscow Mule or a really diluted screwdriver, you can absolutely get away with using this for six forty nine uh, per fifth. But again, you could do a lot better. Just, yeah, like just buy Smirnoff. It's not that <laughs> hard, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those things. It's like you said. Look, with tequila, with rum, with whiskey, there's lots of other things that affect the flavor. There's aging. There's all that kind of thing involved. With vodka, it's just grain alcohol. Um, this isn't good alcohol, <laughs> but it doesn't have a strong flavor. So yeah, you can you can definitely hide it. You can definitely get away with it. I think on that note, we're going to bid you farewell for this episode. This has been Bottom Shelf Bar. I'm Connor. This is Paul. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave us a like and comment with any feedback or any suggestions for future alcohol for us to try. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you in the next episode. See you next time. They're a great value. They were like a dollar. Really? Pretty good value. <laughs> That's the brand. <laughs> That's how Walmart is taking over the earth. I know. <laughs>